This is an empty for professional players. Sky blue and pink colored shorts. And the one he's girl nine stone, nine pounds, two ounces. Tonight he makes his proud professional debut, hailing from Stumpong, Matthew Hankins. Tonight Deeper, at the bell, Chris Hancock. And the fine referee in charge of the action, Mr. Darren Sargent, son from Manchester. Four three. Five in the evening, he's a super featherweight com competition. Between Matthew Harness making his debut at the age of 33, and Ronaldo Kahina, 42 years of age, originally from Nicaragua, now playing at Fighting Gout of Spain. Interesting, Kahina won his first six out of eight bouts, made his debut back in 2006. He's won 15, lost 73, drew five. Arness comes from Scunthorpe. Referee Darren Sardi shows himself lead top of white at the mic catching Gormley. Commentating Pod Doncas Adold on behalf of VIP Boxing Promotions in conjunction with Freedom Boxing. Yeah, Kajina has had uh, quite a few fights. So it's a big uh, big ass on his debut for Harness. But obviously Kahina well past his prime. See what he's got left at 42 years of age. Obviously, still looks pretty fit. He's still in there, still on the circuit. How much of a test he can give these uh, young guys, young prospects? Um, I'm not sure. Probably a, an old wily character. To be honest, Harness isn't that young. He's 33. As well, he's switching, must have done some other sort of martial art before. A little um, information on him. Fighting with the uh, purple, blue, current and blue shorts. Kahina fighting black and red. Referee Manchester Darren Sargison. Talk to each other. You know, you know, it's a boxing purist, Mike. He, you know, Keenan just keeps moving to his right all the time, so he should be looking for right up and cut him off. You know, the harness is just following him round. Yeah, obviously a lack of experience. And for the first round, a bit of a nothing round, really, but got, you've got to give it to harness. Boom Shiru, round two. It's four threes, debutant. Matthew Harness has come for. Obviously making his debut. <laughs> Against Ronaldo Cajina. Now living in residing in Spain. Originally from Nicaragua. Really 
Kahina, or Kajina, actually been in with uh, Zelfa Barrett from Manchester, uh, 2017. Barrett actually KO'd him at that time. He's roughly the younger fighter then, probably a bit more of a capable fighter. Made his debut in 2006. Also been in with Ryan Walsh, one of the Walsh brothers. Michael and Liam, and the two. Wow. Not too sure what Harness's ambitions are, turning pro at age 33. It's like, you know, it can take, it's, it's never too late. But I suppose you've got to have some ambition. Quite interesting, really. So it looks a little bit raw. Not too sure he's, uh, what the history he's got, previous experience. Well, looking at Kahina's his stance and his guard, etc., you know, as a guy's had all these fights, you know, he's, he's nearly 90, you know, and he's come for 100 fights. His technique and his style, for me, isn't very good. He must get hands a bit higher. He's overreaching. He's leaning too far on his front foot. He moves to his left hand all the time. You know, a better fighter would pick it up. I'm not, I'm not condemning the guy. You know, as a professional myself, wasn't very good. That's when he had, but you know, but when you're looking at as you start getting a bit older, a bit more wiser. You know, he needs to get those hands up. He's 42 years of age and he can't be doing any good. Wax on the head. He doesn't seem to throw the punches properly. <laughs> get, get again, he threw that one off left and knocked down. Just on the bobble. Big right up to the head there. And Matthew didn't see. It's certainly a shock. He has got 11 stoppages in his 15 wins. He's won his first out of six out of eight. We're in round three. Schedule four threes. Super featherweight division. It was an interesting second round. It seemed as though Matthew Harnison's debut was coasting. And one big right hand. The Nicaraguan. Mr. Harness in the seat of his pants. And he evens it up now. Yeah, we'll see how see if he's recovered really after that knockdown. Um, he came out for the second round, his legs look, didn't look too great, but seems to be moving okay now. Kajina certainly surprised everybody in uh, the arena tonight. I'm not like, really expecting that. Everyone, especially, you know, the most surprised person obviously was Mr. Harness of Scunthorpe. He seems to recruit though. As we always said, only takes one punch to change the direction of a fight. The same man again, sneaking right up over the top. Hopefully, Arnis now will just be aware of uh, Kajina's power. Needs to keep his defence nice and tight, keep doing what he's doing, moving. It's nice, nice boxing. The bad thing is, it doesn't look like Kahina has has any power at all. His punches are slow and laboured, but he obviously must carry a little bit of dynamite in that round.
Kind of his hands a little bit low at times. As you can see there, hold his hands about chest height. Should be should be a little bit higher. I totally agree. That's what you call that right hand. His hands were too low. Referee side just not have much to do. Again, the harness got. Kadina seems to be coming looking for it now. He knows he can hurt harness. Maybe they've had a chat in the corner between rounds, you know, and told him to step it up a little bit. Maybe he fancies the win. Nice movement by Harness. I think he just maybe took that round just to recover. Four. Concluding uh, round tonight in this 4 3 set super featherweight competition. Red corner harness, blue corner Kahina. Kahina. But a quite, quite a good jab, harness, quite sharp. Needs to step in with it, I thought, a little bit more, I think. Maybe double it up at times. Yeah, I agree, Mike. Nice long, lengthy arms. Out, he's, got, he's got to use them to his advantage with these long shots, the taller man. That's a nice uppercut. Makes a basic mistake, he drops the right hand every time he throws the left. Save it there, he nearly got one there. He drops that right every time he throws the left. Basic novice. Um, Amateur uh, mistake. Kajina's probably seen all this before with his experience, so he knows he knows what he's looking for. You can see the openings. So obviously with A's, maybe he can land another one. Still looks pretty fresh though. And it's not too bad, moving well. Just needs to stick behind his box and keep those hands nice and high. Long shots, step in and step out. A little bit better. Like you said before, Lilo, he, he drops that, when he throws that left hand, he drops the right hand. Typical of a sort of novice, really. Yeah, how are you scoring it, Mike? Yeah, it's a bit hard to score. It's obviously 10 8 round to Kajina in the second. Yeah, I, I've got. Um, Harness with a new three. So. I think, think point five is pretty even. Two rounds to Harness and one ten eight rounds to the, to Kajina. Which makes it level, I think. If the uh, mathematics is right and then it all goes on this last round. Harness is certainly taking this last round, probably his best round so far. Yeah, I think I think he should probably walk him up that knock down. Catch him on his toes. Can't be too sloppy though. Like you say, Matthew will probably keep those hands up in the next fight. Keep him a bit tighter to the face. Have a look at, you know, Levi Smith before where his hands were. Doing a lot better though, his movement's his movement's pretty good, he's good on his feet. Yeah. Just needs to concentrate on those hands though. So last ten. I think Arnas has done enough. You score a draw, Mike. We shall see. The referee charging gives the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of absorbing boxing action, the referee Gary Sargentson has adjusted this particular contest to be 38 points. Two thirty-seven points. For your winner, on his proud professional debut.
boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across the north, click and subscribe, VIP, boxing promotions, also Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.